Game of Thrones is back for its eighth and final season. The season premiere did a lot of the table setting to which fans of the show are accustomed. However, there were a few major surprises, and starting at the end of the episode, a lot of stuff happened in those last 10 or so minutes. It was really interesting seeing Samwell uh, react so strongly to the news Daenerys had killed his father and brother last season, and coming straight on the heels of that is his reveal to Jon of Jon's true identity, his true parentage. What did you make of kind of this burst of plot activity at the end of an episode that had been pretty staid? I mean, burst of plot activity, it's been like the whole episode is plot activity, but John Bradley's performance as Samuel in that scene was just incredible. Yeah, he was probably the MVP of the episode for me. He's someone who hasn't gotten a ton of shine. His character is a little bit more plotting and less glamorous, but he sold this emotional kind of moment. Things are just occurring over these short little scenes, and it really is up to these actors to deliver these great performances to keep you believing what's happening, even when the plot is just kind of jumping yeah. along so fast. Not executed men who disobeyed me. You've also spared men. Thousands of wildlings when they refused to nail. I wasn't a king, but you were. In a previous season of Thrones, one that were 10 episodes rather than six, and one where the end wasn't so plainly in sight, the revelation of Jon's parentage would have unfolded a bit more gradually with a bit more gracious pacing. I've been waiting for that scene for like, what, 10 years? I mean, like, Kid did a great job with it. I wish there was more room to like emotionally feel it yes. with the characters. But just the way it was done in the crypts with his mother's statue right there and yes. everything, it was it was really nice. The theory of John's parentage was a fan favorite for the whole series' run. I also think a character who's a fan favorite who got a really nice look in this episode was Sansa. I thought her scene with Tyrion was really interesting because these are two characters who haven't been together in a while who do have a history. The last they saw each other, they were married. Right, the last time they saw <laughs> each other, they were married. Their marriage ended through kind of deus ex machina. And when they were married, he was, you know, the one who knew everything. And mm. she was still kind of a babe in the woods. And it really feels like the polarity has reversed. And I think she is now a master tactician and has kind of risen from supporting player to right. one of the most impactful characters. On oh, the show. absolutely. Going to something that was hopeful, light, ebullient, had no real reason to be in the show and didn't really make character sense. Uh, Daenerys taking her dragons for a joy ride. I found this really interesting because Daenerys's one overriding character trait that we've known since she got her dragons early in the show's run is that she is protective of them above all else. Right. Where are my dragons? And she's like, oh, let's take them for a ride. Like, it's like the whole idea is that they're hungry because they don't have food and she's hiring them out. This was super corny, but I also, super enjoyed it. I do think that this scene could have happened later on in the season and been more emotionally impactful. Maybe after Jon realizes he's a Targaryen, he like then tries to ride the dragon. And I agree with you, it is a little silly with Danny just all of a sudden being like, yeah, just get on, Hop on board. Get on the dragon yeah. that I've been very protective about. Um, it was a little weird to see that happen. Yeah. But I, overall, it was good, even with them landing at a waterfall where he had hooked up with Egrid and then mm -hmm. Drogon kind of like peeping at them. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> which cute. is a weird, the, the weird dragons joke, but it was real funny. personalities. Yes. They're like dogs or something. Yes, I agree with you that this moment could have been more impactful in some hypothetical other way. I think that the dragon riding portion that's just for fun is now over, and we're plunging into the darkness. Yes, I believe next episode they're going to be setting up for the battle with the White Walkers. Yes. So it's pretty. It's going to be pretty dark from here yeah, on we, out. Yeah, we didn't discuss the White Walkers much in this episode. We will going forward as they march closer and closer. We'll look forward to discussing it all next time. Heroes. It's an old-fashioned notion. A visionary. A genius. Ensuring freedom around the globe. A symbol to the nation, a hero to the world. The beacon of hope, shining out across the stars. I look around at us, you know what I see? A bunch of a-holes. Possibility. You think you know how the world works? The world 
is changing. We need heroes. Our very strength invites challenge. Challenge incites conflict. catastrophe. The thing isn't beautiful because it lasts. promise to keep. If we can't protect the Earth, you can be damn sure we'll avenge it. Whatever it takes.